Today is not about this camera, it's about this camera. Hello, welcome back. We've got something different for you today, so stay tuned. On this channel, a lot of the time we're talking about quite expensive lenses, such as those made by Leica and Passblad. Today I wanted to add a little balance, bring something to you that is a little cheaper and equally amazing. Now this probably won't be something new to the majority of people that have an interest. In recent years, and especially since the rise of mirrorless, this lens has become very popular. Personally, I've only just tried it, so it's new to me, so I still have the excitement of a, a new user. So today we're talking about the amazing Helios 44M version 4 58mm f2 lens. So originally this lens came on Soviet cameras such as this Zenit 11. There you go, made in the USSR. The Helios 44 comes in lots of different versions and this camera was given to me along with two or three others seven, eight years ago. Threw it in a box and forgot all about it. I was having a clear out a couple of days ago and I saw these cameras and now my knowledge of photography and older cameras has increased considerably compared to the past. I was like, huh, this could be interesting. What I'm showing with you today is not the Zenit because I know most people think not particularly highly of this camera, although maybe I should try and put a roll of film through it one day. Today is not about this camera. Camera. It's about this camera. So we have Zenit with the original Helios 44 lens and here we have the Leica CL with the Helios 44 lens. I was given two identical Zenit 11 cameras with the Helios lens which are old school cameras what they used to use for teaching photography back in the day and so for yesterday's photo shoot I thought I'd have a bit of fun I mounted the Helios 44 lens which is M42 mount via an M42 to LM adapter I'll put a link in the description to the Leica L to Leica M mount adapter to the Leica CL camera I thought I'd be a bit of fun with the model I'll start with it take a few photos see how soft and crappy it is take it off Put on an expensive Leica lens, job done. So I took some Leica lenses and I took the Helios 44 and <laughs> I think I shot 95% of all the photos for the whole photo shoot on the Helios 44. So the Leica lenses, they didn't even get a look at. I didn't even bother with any of the £3,000 whatever Leica lenses. No need whatsoever. <clears throat> this lens brought the big smile to my face and the image quality in terms of super RT. I did the photos only yesterday, last night, so I've not even taken them out of the camera yet. I got home, pretty much went to bed. I can show you the card still on the camera so I can give you a preview of the images. So this is Helios 44 photos. What I'll do after I've shot this video, I'll take the card out, put the photos through Lightroom, add my usual like a CL preset, export them, and then I'll include some full size fo example photos from yesterday on the screen so you can see them properly. All the photos shot were the Helios 44 M-4 58mm f2 lens wide open at f2 on the Leica CL in raw mode, then obviously converted in Lightroom. <laughs> So happy, such a good lens. If you want some fun with your camera and I'm probably late to the party and you've probably done this 10 years ago, tick the box and moved on like a lens baby lens. I did that as well. This lens obviously won't work on a Leica rangefinder camera and so I can't use it for shooting film on a Leica. But if you own any Leica mirrorless camera or if you own, let's say, a Leica M camera with the Live View or VisoFlex EVF and you want to have a bit of fun and you want to get close to your subject, especially this lens lets you get so much closer than like M mount lenses. And it's so nice. It's literally made me now want to buy more crap lenses to try on the Leica CL. Because it's mirrorless, you literally can use any lens, which I probably often forget and overlook. So if you want a cheap lens to put a smile on your face, highly recommend picking up a cheap Helios lens from eBay. Price-wise has gone up again in recent years. You could probably get them for £10 in the past and you probably still can if you look carefully, but the average price seems to be about £30 now. But yes, so much fun. Really enjoyed it. I like the colours, especially like the bouquet, which is probably what it's, I guess, famous for. And the being able to focus close is really big point for me being a Leica shooter. I normally being stuck at 0.7 metres all the time. Highly recommended and a nice surprise for me because I didn't expect to enjoy this lens as much as I did. And I guess for anyone who happens to watch this channel and is fed up of all seeing expensive lenses, this shows that I'm not biased towards any lenses that cost more than £2,000 as a silly kind of... This lens, if you can pick it up for £10, I was equally happy with this as if I'd had the 
£5,000 not to look lens on. Really, I was so happy. So I don't need £1,000 lenses to make nice pictures. Yes, there's going to be differences in image quality. And yes, some will be better than others. And yes, I can't use this on a Leica rangefinder film camera, which is obviously a biggie, considering film is my main thing. But so much fun. <laughs> so I just wanted to share this off the back of a photo shoot. So I used the Leica CL for my digital images. And then I was using a Hasbad H2 for my main film images. Hasbad H2 is amazing. And then a couple of other 35mm range front of cameras which I'll share with you at a later date. So I will be using the Helios 44 lens again for sure. If you use Helios lenses yourself uh, for digital but especially for film, let me know what film cameras you use this lens on and which one makes it easiest to get nice photos because the Zenit cameras are not particularly easy to focus through. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button below and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more lenses and camera videos coming soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.